A Filipino recently graduated at the Royal London University in the United Kingdom with his bachelor's degree of computer science achieving 98% grade in which he was awarded a first grade. This can be equated as summa cum laude in the Philippines. To give us more details, let's hear it from Bridget Valencia. Graduate here in the United Kingdom with a bachelor's degree is already admirable to many. But what if you top the whole class? Today, we will have our exclusive interview with Errolson Joseph Gunito, who recently graduated at Royal London University and got 98% out of 100% grade awarded with first honors, which we can equate to summa cum laude, doing his bachelor's degree in computer science. Errolson Joseph Gunito was born here in the United Kingdom at Bonnet Hospital. He is the second child of three siblings. His mom is from Isabella and his dad is from Batangas. He gladly shared with us his educational history and how he got into the university, wherein he became the top student out of 200. My name is Errolson Gunito and I'm 22 years old. So my parents uh, immigrated here before I was born and I was born here in Barnet Hospital. I studied in St. James Catholic High School for my GCSEs and A-levels. For my GCSEs, I got high grades, which allowed me to continue to do A-levels. And in my A-levels, I picked maths, physics and sociology. Again, I was able to get good grades to be accepted for my offer for Royal Holloway University of London, in which I did computer science. So recently, I've just graduated a few few weeks ago with my computer science bachelor's. He then shared why he picked the course. I picked the course because I've always had an affinity for computers. When I was 14, I built my own computer for gaming. That was the main, one of the big reasons. But of course, I will be able to apply my knowledge to creating new technologies because I think in the future, we'll be even more connected with technology and being able to understand it and apply the theory behind everything in technology. You know, I'll be able to help people's lives with you know, the new technologies in medicine or other f fields. When the COVID pandemic came in 2019, Errolson thought that he would not get high grades due to many different challenges that the pandemic brought during his studies. But he shared how he overcame and shared a particular technique in which he believed has helped him get his high grades. For myself, yeah, I did feel at times like, oh, maybe I won't achieve the grades I want because I felt I wasn't confident you know, uh, with how I was being taught online because it was very different. But... I was still able to achieve uh, good grades because I just focused on, you know, learning, you know, making the best out of the situation I'm in and making sure I don't try to think about the negatives all the time. I just do the best I can. The young achiever also shared how the grading system works here in the United Kingdom. For grading in university, there's coursework and exam. For coursework, it's more uh, applying your knowledge and the theory you've learned. So, basic, so simply like making programs, for example, making an application, I guess, for courseworks. But for exams, it's a lot of memorization, I'd say. You do need to understand the concepts, but I f once you understand it, it'll be a lot easier to memorize for the exam. He also gave a little advice to those who would like to take the same course. There's probably going to be a lot of pressure on you, as I am uh, very familiar with, but most importantly is, well, Matt, it does. don't focus on the grades, just focus on improving your knowledge, learning as much as you can, Take, take your time, uh, make sure you don't burn yourself out because even with all the pressure, at the end of the day, this is your life and this is your, you know, this is, you're doing it because you want to, because you're passionate about this degree. So do the best as you can and learn as much as you want, as you're comfortable with. We also asked about what the government here in the United Kingdom provides to students like him to help them enter higher education. And if he is to meet the Philippine president, what would he say to him regarding education? If I, if I could meet the president, I would say the biggest, the biggest uh, barrier for people is the, low, the, the money, the costs of study at higher education. And here in the UK, we have student loan, which, you know, the government will give you, will pay for your tuition fees and your maintenance fees. So you don't have to worry as much as the financial situation when you're studying. I think it's one of the biggest factors that allow me to pursue a higher education degree. And if, you, if you're able to bring something similar to the Philippines, I think we'll have a, lot, uh, a much more educated population and this will overall improve you know, the country. Lastly, Errolson thanked those who supported him in his journey so far and those who inspired him to do excellent. I'd like to thank uh, 
my friends and my family. I, I'm not always, you know, like this. I'm not always 100%, but having your friends and family to be able to push you, support you and, you know, be able to help you in any way they can, you know, because I can't do everything myself, but having, you know, people that I can rely on really helps. And I like to thank them at the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much because I appreciate everything they've done for me so far. The mother of Errolson also had a little piece of advice to other parents in terms of dealing with their children during the crucial period of the examination and a message to the Filipino community in the UK. So if they don't have enough support from the parents, not only friends, um, there, there is a big chance that they will fail. But if you are there to pat their shoulder, say, don't worry, you do your best, you know, you, 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 you just... You know, give them assurance that there you are there for them. Uh, let's support each other. Uh, this is a you know my son said earlier to me he dedicate this um, achievement as a Filipino to all Filipino community. Um, something that we can be proud of in our community, and we we Filipino we should stick together and support each other. To excel in a foreign land is really something to be proud of and we hope that many more of the young Filipinos anywhere in the world will continue to harness their God-given talents for a better use and for a better Philippines. For God and my beloved Philippines, this has been Bridget Valencia, SMNA News, United Kingdom.